Sunny. Welcome to the Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man on the street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. It's going to be a great show. Today is episode number 524. What we're going to do today is we're going to bring you dental office things that make you laugh and some that don't. Okay? So we're going to talk about some things that happen at the office that I find funny and maybe you will too. And some of the things that I didn't find funny and maybe you won't either, but we will see. All right, before we get started, uh, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And if you would please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Also, we're streaming live on Facebook, so if you want to go there, you'll see us, uh, see me doing this show. And, uh, in fact, I'll wave. There we go. Okay. And also, all of the shows, all of the shows that we've done, all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. So you can go there and watch this show later, or you can watch last week's show. I also want to remind folks that in about 10 minutes, we're going to give away free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They're really cool flowers. They do an awesome job. And I tell you that now because you may not have a lot of uh, time when it's time to call in. And this way you can get the number pre-programmed into your phone. It's 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. Just go ahead and get that ready. So all you have to do is press send. Also, if you're a dentist or you know a dentist that has at least three years experience, I'm looking for an associate. So please give me a call. You can call the office at 614-262-9588 or you can send an email to bkavitko at aol.com. Okay, just send me an email or give me a call and I'll be happy to talk to you. We're growing, so that's a good problem to have, but we're going to need another dentist or two to make that happen or keep things going smoothly. So again, I'm looking for a dentist with at least three years experience to come and join us. Okay, become a uh, an associate first, a partner later, and the owner later at some point down the line, all right? I think it's a great opportunity. We do a lot of cool things, and you'll have definitely a, uh, um, a lot of chance to grow. Okay, so, like I said, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, some things that uh, I think are funny. So one of those, uh, one story I have, and you know, being winter and all, this, I was reminded of this. So it was winter, and we had this patient call. They were going to not come for their appointment. Uh, they said they couldn't get out of their driveway. So much snow they couldn't get out of their driveway, right? So I have people who work for me that live in Reynoldsburg and Grove City. <laughs> and you, you may know that dentists tend to employ mostly women, right? So I have these, uh, these women who made it in from Reynoldsburg and Grove City and Dublin. And so I asked the guy, I said, because um, I happened to pick up the call, and I said, um, I have women that live this far away and they made it to work. Where do you live? And he goes, well, I live on Arden Road. Well, Arden Road was about, um, I don't know, 1,500 feet from my office down High Street. And I said, well, did you try? <laughs> and there's a little bit of dead silence, you know. I said, because I can send one of these women to come and get you, pick you up if you'd like, if you live that close. And he goes, I'll be there. <laughs> so I kind of shamed him into coming. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. It just seemed odd that... Uh, he couldn't get there because it was, he was close and all of these women made it in through snow, ice, and who knows what. Okay, now another one that is, um, it's kind of funny. Now, you know we do a lot of sedation. We do oral sedation. We do intravenous sedation. Sometimes we do both. We do laughing gas, the whole thing. You know, whatever a person needs. So, and I think it's great. 
I don't know how dentists practice who can't do it or don't do it. I really do. Really don't know uh, because there are just certain people that need it. So when you're sedated, conscious sedation especially, I'm sorry, oral sedation, it's all conscious by the way, um, you don't, you have like an, an amnesia. You don't remember what happened a few minutes ago. So invariably, people, especially when we're letting them wake up, they will either tell us a story or ask us a question, which is fine. We answer it nicely, politely. And then literally, 30 seconds, a minute later, they ask us the same question like they've never asked it before <laughs> or tell us the same story. <laughs> and uh, it'll be seven, eight times in a row. And, you know, you would think that, well, first of all, I discovered you have to answer each time like it's the first time. Because if you're at all short with a person, um, that's the only one they'll remember. They won't remember anything else you said that day, but they'll remember he was kind of short with me when I asked him, you know, did I need gauze? <laughs> So we, a we answer every time, just like it's the first time, uh, politely, nicely. But, and we all do it, can't help it. If I've been sedated, I'd do the same thing. But it is one of those <coughs> funny stories that uh, we talk about at the office. And I remind new employees, I remind my people, you have to be polite and nice every time because they're going to remember the one time that you weren't if you get a little short with them. So now, here's one. This, this just happened. What's today? Sunday. This happened on Friday. <clears throat> so I have this gentleman. He's older. When I say that, I'm going to say maybe 71, 72. And he has this big brown spot on the side of one of his front teeth. Now, the reason I can see it, I have a picture of it. I can see it because his tooth is turned a little bit. So it's about the size of the side of the tooth. And we told him about it uh, three months ago. He, is, he, he does get a lot of tartar, and he comes every three months for a cleaning. So he's doing a good job there. But... Took a picture of it three months ago, or f maybe it was six now. And I said, hey, and so did my hygienist. We still need to get to this. We still need to get to this. He looked at me and he goes, well, somebody told me that sometimes cavities will heal themselves if you just let them go. And I'm like, <laughs> no, that never happens. Never happens. I said, whoever told you that told you wrong. And I said, did they have any research, any scientific paper, anything to say? that that happens, and he just looked at me, he just stared at me. He gave me that little twinkle, <clears throat> that twinkle in his eye, like, I don't believe a word you're saying, Dr. Kvitko. <laughs> I'm right, you're wrong, and I'm going to let this big brown spot just keep going. So, um, you might remember last week's show, uh, maybe he's confused, or maybe, uh, if you listen to last week's show, we have a researcher who has figured out a way, just hasn't done human trials yet, but in mice and rats, figured out a way to take and put this, uh, these collagen sponges soaked in, uh, it's called titiglucid. Yeah, titiglucid. Um, down in there, and in six weeks, the body will grow some new dentin. It'll grow some new dentin. But if you remember, if you listened, in order to do that, me, the dentist, has to take out the decay and then put that down in and cover it with something so it can be uh, quietly sitting there working rather than having saliva wash it away. So maybe when he heard stories like that, he got confused and said, oh, teeth can heal themselves. Teeth don't heal themselves. Because even in that scenario, you still need a dentist to take out all of the decay so that then you can stimulate the pulp's uh, stem cells to grow new dentin. Okay, so don't be confused, folks. Teeth do not heal themselves. Uh, cavities will not go away. It just doesn't happen. But um, I don't know. For some reason, he's not convinced. I guess the only thing that will convince him is a toothache, which is coming. <laughs> that's going to, I guarantee, right? <laughs> Looking at my producer. He had an episode. He's saying, yes, <laughs> toothaches can happen, and they're terrible. They're absolutely terrible. You do not want to wish that on anyone. All right. So let's see. Um, then we had one, and this was also last week. It's amazing how recent all this stuff is, although it's been going on for years. So we had this woman in, and she had... Several fillings placed at a different office a year and a half ago, and she's all upset because, according to her, they all fell out. And when she came to the office for the first time, my staff did a, a full series of x-rays before I ever came into the room. So my assistant comes into me and she says, um, just so you know, uh, this woman is thinking about suing the previous dental office, and she's hoping that you're going to be able to give her some ammunition for that. And I go, oh, well, let's look at her x-rays. And I look at the x-rays, and what do I see? I see fillings, 
probably the fillings that were placed in there a year and a half ago. But then what I see is all this rampant decay around them, even in, not, not by those fillings, by the way, but other places on the same tooth. And so, you know, something's going on here. By the way, there's a thing called meth mouth, which is people who use crystal meth. It eats away at their teeth because of the acid, terribly eats away at them, and they oftentimes wind up uh, losing a bunch of teeth or having a bunch of root canals or, and crowns. Um, and then there's this thing called mountain, Mo mountain dew mouth. Look it up in uh, Google it, mountain dew mouth. Okay, you type that in, or meth mouth, M-E-T-H mouth, type that in, and then look at all the images that come up. They look the same, for one. Maybe the Mountain Dew mouth uh, doesn't look quite as bad as the crystal mouth or the meth mouth. But anyway, it's rampant decay everywhere, the sides of the teeth, in between the teeth, the bottom of the teeth, the biting surface, every place you can imagine, there are these huge cavities. So, you know, you could say it's funny, it was kind of funny. It's funny to me. It's not really funny because he or she's thinking it's the dentist and it's not my fault. It's his fault or her fault. And, um, you know, I want somebody to tell me so I can go. And I said to her, I said, look, you did this yourself. And by the way, her husband was sitting next to her and he spoke up right then. And he, uh, he said, I told her it was probably that. Then he makes a little big, uh, with his hands, he, she drinks a big bottle of, uh, of Diet Coke every, um, like every day. He's got his hands separated, and he says, I told her it was that. So, sure enough, um, now everybody knows, everybody in the room knows it's something she did to herself, she's still doing to herself. So, basically what I said is, drop, the, drop your idea of a love lawsuit, stop drinking the soda. Did you notice I said Diet Coke? Doesn't have to be Mountain Dew. Could be Sprite, if you drink it that much and drink it that way. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> anyway like I said, kind of funny, kind of not, but something that's very educational if you think about it. Okay, so I'm getting the time to go to a break uh, signal from my producer because he's doing his job. And uh, <laughs> so, but as you know, we're going to do Dr. Kavika's question of the day next. So remember what we just said. Before we do it, though, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or L Eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kovitko's question of the day. All right, and the question of the day today is, oh, and let me remind you, you're going to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist. That's free flowers from DeSantis Florist. So, um, basically, what we're doing is the question of the day is, what are the things, what are some of the things that I just said that I consider funny that patients have done or told me? Okay? One of them is, where the questions go? Okay. A patient who said they couldn't get out of the driveway because it had snowed. B, a sedated patient telling us the same story seven times or more. C, a patient telling me that he'd heard sometimes cavities heal themselves, or D, all of the above. All right? The winner's going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Flores. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it, though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said people don't take the time. But don't take the time. Hi, I'm Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. Look for my smile on the big screen this summer, courtesy of Dr. Kavitko. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile radio and road show. Did you know that you no longer need to visit several different dental professionals to get more complete dental care? We handle everything from cleanings and orthodontics to restoration, implants, and smile makeovers, all in my office. And now we have two locations. Get the most advanced technology and procedures available today. It's more complete dentistry. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Dr. Kavitko, let's go! 
Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko is here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. We're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. We have some people on the line. I think we're going to go to Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, how are you today? Hi. So, do you have the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? Yes, it was D, all of the above. Yes. Did you know that about the sedation, sed sed sedated people? I do. I'm a nurse. Oh. <laughs> so, that's funny, right? <laughs> yes, and I've actually taken my sister to a procedure, and she asked me the same question several times. And about the fourth time, she said, I know I've asked this before, but please answer me again. Oh, at least she knew that. So I really, yeah, I really got that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. And by the way, folks, we're not making fun of you. We just know it's one of the things that happens, and we just find it funny in the medical and dental offices, right? It is funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Jennifer, stay on the line. We need to get the information where we can send those flowers from DeSantis, Okay. Okay, thank All right. you very much. And Rhonda and Sue and Tom, you call in next week and try again. Okay, let me hand this to my producer. All right, so now let's go to more things that, um, you know, that might make you laugh that have happened in the dental office. Here's one. So, people have teeth that break sometimes or they think of felling fill out. Something's happening, they're chewing, and they, um, you know, all of a sudden this piece of fudge has something hard in it and it didn't have nuts, you know? And so, what is that? So the first thing they're thinking is, is there a nut in my fudge? Then they're thinking, oh, wait a minute, is there a piece of the, um, I don't know, piece of a metal mixing uh, machine in there? And then they come to realize that it's a piece of tooth or it's a piece of filling. So they call me and they come in. And what's funny to me is, okay, so I look in, I look in their mouth. I t well, we take an x-ray. We want to see how close it, the, what's broken. You know, we take a photograph, interoral photograph. And so now we're looking and we can see that a corner of the tooth is gone or the entire f a corner of the tooth and the filling by the way if the tooth breaks down the filling tends to fall out because there's nothing to hold it in so anyway people always feel the need <laughs> to tell me what they were chewing at the time it really doesn't make any difference at that point you know that's like in the past <laughs> all i have to, i can't we can't go back and say well you shouldn't have eaten that fudge or you shouldn't eat whatever we have a broken tooth, we have a tooth with a broken corner and a missing filling, whatever, and we're going to fix it. But um, that one, and, uh, and then this other one, okay. So where did I put that one on my list? Well, anyway, you know, I'll get to the other one, okay. So I, I asked my daughter, who's a veterinarian, I said, so what is it, what kind of thing is it that happens to you guys in the office that you're like, uh, you're like shaking your head. You, you consider funny. Like, what's one of the common things? So she told me, I was a friend of hers who's also a veterinarian, told us, told the, us this story. She was in visiting. So an owner brought her cat to the vet because the cat was acting funny. So she didn't know what was wrong. She knew something was wrong, didn't know, if she, you know what, what's wrong with my cat. Well, the, uh, the vet, after checking out the cat a little bit, said, your cat's not sick. She's pregnant. And the owner says, how could that be? Our other cat is her brother. <laughs> she thought just because it was her brother, they wouldn't, like, mate. <laughs> and, like, we know not to do that as humans because we're taught, but cats and dogs, they don't know it's their brother or their sister. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so, anyway, I guess that happens often enough that uh, uh, Elise told, told us that story. Okay, now I had an interesting one. Um, this... Uh, this, I was getting ready to cement a crown, and that was when we were sending all of them to the lab. Now we make most of them ourselves using our same-day crown machine. But this was one that had gone to the lab, and so, you know, we usually wait till it comes in. Then we, um, after it's in, we check the shade. I check, uh, make sure it kind of fits on the model. And uh, once I'm sure of that, then we'll call the patient and say, hey, your crown's in. And remember, we don't do it like that anymore because we make them in the office. But anyway, so the patient comes in. And I start to try to seat this crown on their tooth, and it's like, whoa, this doesn't fit very well. Fit the model. Why doesn't it fit the tooth very well? So I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, this is going to take way too much adjusting to make this work. Because let's face it, not, not all of them just go right in. Some of them need to have um, 
some of them need a little adjusting. The bite needs adjusted, where the flossing happens needs adjusted. So anyway, very quickly though, I'm looking at this going, I don't think this is for this person. I think this is somebody else's crown, you know? So it was tooth number 29, and I'm thinking that what happened at the lab is somebody mixed up tooth number 29 of my patient with tooth number 29 of a patient, somebody else's patient. And so within about three or four minutes, I discovered that, and I took a new impression, and I sent a note, you know, called the lab, put a note on the lab slip. And, you know, the sad story about this is, while they remade mine, I found out later from the lab, the other dentist never called them. Nobody ever sent back a crown, which means some dentist crammed my patient's crown onto somebody else's tooth. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. But, you know, I guess, who knows, who knows, maybe they were in a hurry, maybe they, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So, anyway, um, it looks like kind of time to go to a break again. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. It's episode number 524. We are covering things that make you laugh and some that don't. And, make, and uh, we'll be right back. You can't take me as I am. Die just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, because you're too much for me. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Weigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model, and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile. It's episode number 524, and we're bringing you things at the dental office that make you laugh and some that don't. So we're still dealing with the ones that I kind of find funny, and hopefully you do too. When somebody says to me, how can I have a cavity? Nothing hurts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just want to laugh, but I can't. Not to. I, I, it's so... Um, boy, I say that probably every week on this show, that cavities don't hurt. Okay? Cavities don't hurt. Even deep cavities don't hurt until they get close to the nerve. Then they hurt a lot. <laughs> but some people, some people even don't go to the dentist then because they're afraid. They don't know that there's someone out me that could maybe sedate them and get them through it. So um, at some point though, this, it's going to be very, very painful. And at some point that nerve is going to die. Then you're going to start to get an abscess. But in that period of time, your pain will have gone away because now it's draining I mean, for now, the, the, the tooth is dead. I'm sorry. Then your pain will come back when the pressure builds up from all of the pus that's going to build up in the bone. And then you'll get a fistula, which is a draining uh, abscess where the uh, pus is going to work its way through the gum and outside the, out of the bone, out the outside, and start dripping down out of your gum. Then it won't hurt then either. Doesn't mean you don't have an abscess. Doesn't mean you don't have a cavity. Doesn't mean you don't need a root canal. In fact, if you wait long enough, you need, a, you need an extraction. So anyway, I just find that funny because as much as I talk about it, People still think, if nothing hurts, I can't have any cavities. <laughs> so maybe you don't find it funny, folks, but let me just tell you, it is. So uh, you, you need to have these teeth checked because there's not going to be a, a sign, a warning sign your body is going to give you until it's too late. Okay, here's another one. And these are all from my office, as you can, as you can tell. So this happened this week, too. A woman that I saw in 2010, and she was uh, wearing her teeth down. She has a beautiful smile, but the teeth are getting really thin. She grinds and clenches. She wears them down. 
And, and I said to her, you know, what we need to do is we need to build your bite back up because your chin is getting too close to your nose. That's what happens when your teeth get shorter. Your chin can get closer to your nose and you start looking like you need dentures when you have natural teeth. Not only that, if you've worn a, a tooth down, made it thin, I can't build that broken corner back up because you're going to break it right off because you're now, uh, you, all the other teeth are thin too, so everything touches more, more quickly or sooner, okay? So I told her, we need to do what's called a, we need to build your bite back up. And the only way to do that is to put crowns on all of the back teeth so that now they don't hit as soon as they, you've made them hit. They go back to the way they were before you started to grind on them. And I even took, uh, there was this one tooth, I said, this tooth looks like it's getting ready to split down the middle. And I put uh, on the, on the x-ray, I'm sorry, the photo that I took, I put little blue arrows pointing to the to potential crack. And, but I didn't see her. I think she was overwhelmed by the thing or maybe thought I just needed a new boat payment or something. And remember, folks, I've told you my boat's paid for, right? So I'm just telling you what's wrong with your mouth and uh, what you're going to need. Nobody has to do anything they don't want. Don't get me wrong. I never put somebody in a headlock and say, you've got to do this. But I do try to educate folks in the office and through this show to what's really going to help you be healthy. So we went over all of that. We gave her a price. Her sister comes. And I heard from her sister, yeah... She was overwhelmed a little bit about that. I don't know if she's going to do anything. I don't know. But I'm still coming. So anyway, the sister didn't come for several years. And then she showed up. And um, she has this uh, ache in an area on her upper right. Okay, And she's pointing on the outside of her face. She'd, been, she'd had two different sinus infections over the last year. And... Um, Finally, after the, the doctor treated her for the second one and the third one was coming back, he said, you may want to check with your dentist. Maybe it's a tooth, right? So we take our x-ray and we take a photo. And sure enough, it was a tooth, probably a tooth all along. Because the, um, even the physician said, you know, because the teeth are right below, the, the floor of the maxillary sinus is the roof of the mouth where the teeth are. So we take an x-ray and take a photo and I immediately know what it is. That tooth that I told her in 2010 was going to split, split right down the middle. It was separated by about two millimeters. And on a tooth that's only like 10 millimeters wide, that's a lot, right? And on the x-ray, it was all infected up there, all black up there. And I know what she needs. She needs an extraction. But she is one of those people that is very nervous and uh, comes to me because I can sedate her. So uh, she actually, rather than doing anything that day, uh, we're scheduling for her to come back in where I can do IV sedation and I'll take her tooth out. We're going to put bone in there. We're going to place an implant three months later, and we'll do an implant crown. But when we do that implant crown, even if she's not ready to have um, the full mouth, like her whole mouth built up, the, the, the bite built up, uh, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we can put a crown that matches everything she has now, and then when she is ready to have her bite built up and need uh, crowns on these back teeth, then we can just do a new one there. So we have a plan, and you may not find that funny, but... I kind of did because I, I didn't say I told you so, but I mean, look, my pictures, I had everything I told her came true. And, um, but I think the point here is, is there are people out there, you're probably one of them, who are terrified of the dentist, and we just, like, the whole idea of coming to the dentist just scares the heck out of you, right? So, anyway, looks like I'm just about out of time. I'm getting close to the end, and, and I probably, you know what I'll do is maybe next week or coming up soon, I'll do the other part of this show, which was the things that, don't make you laugh about a dental office. And there are some pretty interesting ones there. So, okay. So anyway, yeah, let me just, uh, looking at the clock, I am right. It is time. So that is all the time we have today. Oh, and don't forget, if you're a dentist of three years experience or more, uh, please give me a call, 614-262-9588. Love to have you as an associate. Uh, be sure to join us uh, next week. Uh, remember that if you want to access um, videos from all of these shows, you go to thereasonswesmile.com. Okay, follow me on Facebook, please. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. All past episodes complete with video are available at thereasonswesmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko.
If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email to speaking at the 